Hello everybody, today we are going to look at gram-negative cocci. So these are bacteria that take up the counter-stain saffron and instead of retaining crystal violet, hence they appear pink under the microscope right after gram stain. So the bacteria that we are going to look at take up this particular morphology, it's called diplococci, which actually means pad spherical bacteria, diplococci. Uh, so two genuses, there are two genuses we will look at today. First one being Neisseria, the second being Moraxella. So a bit of bit about our the first genus, uh, Neisseria. So Neisseria, Neisseria is actually a large genus of commensal bacteria that colonize the mucosal surfaces of many animals. So and the first bacteria under this genus that we are going to look at is Neisseria gonorrhea. They are diplococci. They are gram-negative coccus and they also uh, grow on Thea Martin or Martin Lewis media which is actually modified chocolate agar media. So a bit about Thayer, the Thea Martin media. Uh, it is actually a Muller Hinton agar with 5% sheep blood and antibiotics. Muller Hinton agar is a microbiological growth medium commonly used for antibiotic susceptibility testing. Uh, why they are grown on Thea Martin is because it is actually selective uh, for Neisseria gonorrhea by suppressing most other gram-negative diplococci, gram-negative bacilli or gram-positive uh, species as well as yeast. Uh, Neisseria gonorrhea are oxidase positive. A bit about the oxidase test. This is actually a test that is uh, used to identify organisms that produce the enzyme cytochrome oxidase. So if you have, if they have the enzyme cytochrome oxidase, then they hence they are oxidase positive. So uh, here we have two plates. Uh, one is uh, a chocolate medium. So this one, uh, that in this particular media, there are many, many different types of bacteria growing on this. And here on, on the next to it is the Thea Martin media, which, is, which only contains Neisseria, uh, Neisseria only, Neisseria gonorrhea in this case. Uh, because Thea Martin media is actually selective for Neisseria gonorrhea by actually suppressing most other uh, bacteria and possibly yeast as well. So here we have Neisseria gonorrhea under microscopic view. Neisseria gonorrhea, they are aerobic, they cause gonorrhea and arthritis. Arthritis is inflammation of the joints. The exudates from infected individuals containing many polymorphonuclear leukocytes, PMNs, with ingested gonococci. These gonococci stimulate the PMN to release an internal oxidative burst involving reactive oxygen species in order to kill the gonococci. So PMNs, polymorphonuclear leukocytes, are actually granulocytes with uh, different or varying shapes of nucleus. Um, so that, I think that's it for here, for this page. Next bacteria, Neisseria meningitidis. Neisseria meningitidis are diplococci. They are gram-negative cocci and are encapsulated. That means there is a capsule surrounding them. They form grey translucent colonies on modified Thea Martin media, which is actually chocolate, uh, modified chocolate agar media. They are also oxidase positive. Here we have an agar plate. Uh, with colonies of Neisseria meningitidis. Neisseria meningitidis under microscopic view. Neisseria meningitidis, they are aerobic, causes meningitis and meningococcemia. The Waterhouse Friedrichsen syndrome results from hemorrhage into the adrenal cortex during meningococcal septicemia. Uh, a bit about the Waterhouse Friedrichsen syndrome it is actually all, it is also known as hemorrhagic adrenalitis, defined as adrenal gland failure due to bleeding into the adrenal glands caused by severe bacterial infection. Hits children six to six months to two years old, college or military recruits as well as ace clinic patients. Uh, ace clinic. A splenic is actually uh, a splenic is actually the absence. A 
absence of normal spleen function associated with severe uh, risk of infection or infection risk. Next, bacterial genus. Next genus is Moraxella. So Moraxella cataralis is the bacteria that we are going to look at under this particular genus. So Moraxella is actually a genus of gram-negative bacteria named after a Swiss ophthalmologist called Victor Morex. Why an, why an ophthalmologist? Well, uh, comes the answer lies in cataralis. Cataralis was defined from the word katara, katar, I think it's pronounced katar, uh, which is actually Greek meaning to flow down. So, which actually describes the profuse discharge from the eyes and nose typically associated with severe inflammation in colds. Moraxella cataralis are diplococci and in short chains. They are gram-negative cocci. Uh, they form pinkish brown opaque colonies, 1 to 3 millimeters in diameter with a dry hockey puck consistency. Non-hemolytic colonies on blood agar, gamma hemolysis, they are oxidase positive, catalase positive and they do not ferment glucose. They also resist decolorization with gram stain. Uh, Moraxella, colonies of Moraxella cataralis. Yeah, Moraxella cataralis under microscopic view. So here, uh, here this is an apparent short chain, here being another one. Moraxella cataralis, they are aerobic, they are also facultative anaerobes, formerly known as Brahmanella. Causes otitis media, sinusitis, laryngitis, tracheitis, and pneumonia. Okay. That's all for today. Thank you.